often heard uh, complaint from industrial sector is that the fresh engineering graduates do not possess the minimum required skills in the industrial sector and they don't have enough exposure and there is a truth to this complaint and we need to factor in like rather you need to factor in this aspect of our present educational system uh, when you choose an engineering college so how do we address this issue uh, the issues can be addressed only by two ways one you need to design a course which is in tune with the industrial demand and two uh, we need not just that we, we can't just stop at designing the course but we also need to evolve design a new way of teaching the course and uh, but a conventional engineering college cannot do this because they don't they, are, they don't have the freedom but we we do have that freedom we are an autonomous institute now and we will we are designing our courses as per the industrial demand and uh, we are also uh, design the, designing and evolving a teaching methodology which ultimately would meet the industrial demand so look at this you know we go for uh, purchasing a shirt or a mobile or a dress we think a lot we uh, we ask so many questions but when we are spending four years in a particular institute we should ask these questions the two questions how the course is designed and two how the course or courses will be taught these are the two important questions and these questions you should ask to any institute and take the admission come to us ask us these questions and if you are convinced about our sincerity about what we say about these two questions uh, you should make your decision mathematics and physics these are the two foundational courses of engineering and uh, how we teach these courses has a huge bearing on uh, the engineering education further but unfortunately uh, in the conventional way of teaching there is a disconnect between the specific branch specific subjects and physics between the branch specific subjects and mathematics but uh, since we have autonomy we can redesign and we have done that let's take an example of mathematics now mathematics uh, will be taught in first year and of course it will be taught in second year also so there are three subjects m1 m2 m3 but the often uh, mathematics is taught the, 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 the content of mathematics and its use in the branch specific subjects uh, there is a not just disconnect but sometimes unnecessary mathematics is also taught so we have been uh, we have mercilessly pruned the syllabus of mathematics and added new topics which are relevant to branch specific subjects so this is one thing the second aspect is that uh, Mathematics should not be taught, we believe, mathematics should not be taught uh, in isolation. And it's just not our belief, but it's a common uh, understanding among all educationists that uh, mathematics should not be taught in an abstract way. It's an abstract thing, obviously, but first introduce application of mathematics and then take the students to the abstract principle. And that is what we have tried to do. And the way we have tried to do this is by bringing together uh, the, the engineering teachers who have expertise, who have MTech PhDs in engineering subjects and the mathematics professors, they have joined hands and they have worked on the syllabus. They have decided the methodology to teach the syllabus. Uh, at times, it will be taught jointly by them. So this aspect uh, has been covered. Now let's think about physics. The same thing about physics. We have, we have seen, we have tried to map physics with the branch specific subjects and we have designed the physics uh, in such a way, the course in such a way that there is a strong connection with the branch specific subjects. The most important principle in, in education in general is that uh, ideally uh, we should take the students from concrete to abstract. We should introduce something concrete, some concrete example, some concrete technology, expose students to them and then uh, through interactive process take them uh, to the abstract principle now this is what we have tried to do in physics in physics for example there is a topic of electromagnetism 
and electromagnetism forms the basis for or it the, is the important topic in many branches it's important in electronics it's uh, it's important in uh, mechanical it's important in electrical engineering so the way we we will teach electromagnetism is is as follows we got in touch with a leading solenoid uh, uh, manufacturers in nashik and we have taken their cooperation in framing the syllabus of this topic so students uh, will be exposed to the technology first so just imagine students uh, holding in their hands small electric motors or solenoid walls solenoid operated walls or solenoids in general and through an interactive process they are taken to and uh, to the abstract principle of the operation of this technology now this is what we are we are doing uh, and this is this is we are doing for the physics not just for physics but we have started with first year subjects and all the first year subjects and this will be our approach in general uh, towards all the subjects in engineering it's it is very tough but we are trying our best and um, this is what uh, we believe we can do because we have autonomy